From silver-tongued to foul-mouthed, the new White House communications chief has made the mistake of becoming the story himself. War in the West Wing, nasty battles raging inside the White House. Communications director Anthony Scaramucci going off on a profanity-laced tear against the chief of staff, Brian Priebus, and chief strategist Steve Bannon. Just a week since he started his new job, Anthony Scaramucci had a tirade on the telephone. Speaking to a reporter of his frustrations at recent White House leaks, his language escalated. Along with a number of expletives, he described White House Chief of Staff Reince Priebus as a paranoid schizophrenic. His suggestion about Steve Bannon, Mr. Trump's chief strategist, was profane in the extreme. He is hot-tempered, but he's also Harvard-educated, and he's a strategist and a tactician. So, yeah, it was an embarrassment, but it's the sort of thing that is not going to be like uh, breaking into the office of the, uh, of the Democratic National Committee uh, under the Nixon White House by the plumbers. You know, in, in a year, four years, next election, I'm sure it'll be forgotten. He later tweeted, I sometimes use colorful language. I will refrain in this arena, but not give up the passionate fight for Donald Trump's agenda. I made a mistake in trusting a reporter. It won't happen again. The, the eyes are 49, the nays are 51. The motion is not agreed to. A further setback for President Trump came in the Senate. Hoping to overturn some of President Obama's health care laws, three Republicans Mr. joined Peter. the Democrats to stand in the way. Among them, John McCain, displaying the scar of his recent surgery for brain cancer. My friends, this is legislation that directly affects the lives of the people in my state. I trust my governor. I trust Trump said the three had, in his words, let the American people down. As Trump's plans for American health care hang in the balance, so too does the reputation of Anthony Scaramucci. Julian Drucker, 5 News.